My interest in science was sparked by my um, high school physics and chemistry teacher. Um, Mr. Tyner essentially let me do what I wanted. He let me alone in the lab, he let me experiment, he let me explore, and uh, that really opened the door. The second I walked into the cyclotron lab, I knew this was the place I had to be. It was full of energy, it was full of young people, um, there were students who were engaged and involved in the process, and the environment was just so, so energetic. One of the basic diagnostic devices that's used now in medical science is medical resonance imaging, or MRI. Uh, the techniques that we use to study rare isotopes are very similar to the techniques that are used in MRI. We're doing nuclear magnetic resonance on sample sizes that are small as 10 to the 4 or 10 to the 5 particles, which are 16 or 17 orders of magnitude smaller than what we normally see in typical diagnostics. So hopefully some of the developments that we do for high sensitivity can someday be applied to increase the sensitivity of these diagnostic type devices. There's always something newer on the horizon and to always be reaching for that next goal is an environment that you really want to be in and it's very stimulating. And with the facility for rare isotope beams seemingly around the corner here at Michigan State University, it's another carrot on the stick to continue this drive uh, to be a successful and hopefully a, a very positive contributor to MSU, to the laboratory, and to my department. I like the challenge of the unknown. I think that you know, one of the things I tell my students that a, what's a PhD? A PhD tells you you can solve problems. Just because you get a PhD in science doesn't mean that you should always be a scientist. It says that you have the ability to solve problems. And I think that everyday challenge of solving problems, helping other people realize their ambitions and dreams by solving the problems that I can address in my role, essentially is what gets me out of bed every single day.